Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the AND operator. Now this is sort of a follow-up to the previous video where we talked about the OR operator. And the thing about the OR operator is one or both of the operands, the things we're working on, can be true. So in this situation, if I wanted to say, if you're subscribed or your email is activated, print welcome, here's how you would do it. Type it out like that, hit run, and it says welcome. Now the thing here is that they're both true and it runs. So it's not the case that only one can be true, either can be true or both. When it comes to the AND operator though, they both have to be true, otherwise it will not run. So if we switch it to AND, it will still run because they are currently both true. However, if either one of these are changed to false, then it will not run. So if two conditions need to be met, then the AND operator is for you. Now the way this short circuits is if the first one is true, then it will check the next one. If the first one is false, then it already knows the expression is false and it short circuits. This is the opposite of the OR operator where if the first one is true, it automatically returns true, but if the first one is false, it'll check the next one. Now you don't have to just use booleans here, you could also use an expression that evaluates to true or false. So for example, let's say we have some part of our website where you have to use points that you occur for using the website, and let's say we have 50 of them. Well, what we can do is we could say and points is greater than 30. Running this now, it still says welcome, but we could actually subtract points if we wanted by saying points is now subtracted down 30 points. So if you have 31 points, you spend 30 of them and you're left with one over. We have 50, so we should have 20. And what we can do is we can actually print that. Points is now comma points. So running this, and we now have 20. So that is your introduction to the AND operator, very important to know. And the next one, we're gonna talk about the NOT operator.